Where do we start? Well, you've got to start with the ingredients. So we've got some golden syrup. Starting with the ingredients. That's, that's a lot of sass at the start of the episode, Mick. Oh, really? When you're not working in a buckery, do you do you cook all the other food stuffs? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. Did, did you get into the pastry end of it through doing the other ends of it, or did you go straight into bakeriness? I went straight into bakery. You did an apprenticeship yeah. as a as a baker. I did at one of those franchises. Ah, yeah. oh, sweet. Yeah. That's good. That's like you you knew what you wanted to do and you did it. Well, you you got to follow your dream. You do. Whether it's comedy or, or food or, or baking. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Are you going on? Are you going on a uh, road show with Anne Edmonds? That's nutmeg. No. Later. And Is she Fox. going on the road? Yeah, because yeah. you you do that sometimes. I do. You do. Like touring? I love touring. It's my favourite. I've been touring pretty much all of the time forever. It's good. I like the transient gypsy ah. lifestyle. Well, yep. gingerbread is good for motion sickness. Do you do you train people in this kitchen? Okay. Do you have people like me coming in just just trying to get started in the gingerbread industry? You know how like the public can come and like go and hold a reptile or watch the elephants get fed? Absolutely. Do they come in here and make biscuits? They do. Actually. Oh. Yeah, they knock on the door and then they, we let them in and we. And they just get amongst it. Yeah, get amongst it. We whack the hairnets on them and put an apron on, and they're they're right. The hairnet will be a deterrent. Yeah, people people generally want to take a hairnet home. They're pretty. Do we get to keep the hairnets? You can keep the hairnets home. Yes. Spare one. Yes. <laughs> You've made it all dirty now. Yes. It's yours. I know. It's got my hair shrapnel on it. Is this thick? I'm not doing a very good job of rolling. You're doing a great job here. You help. You put your hands on mine. Oh yes. It's like Ghost. Uh, um, yeah, what's the song? You're Demi Moore. What's the song for that bit? I wish I just knew. Unchained Melody, but we probably can't hum it. Oh, really? Because yeah. we'll get... It's pretty... This is slightly... I'm enjoying this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just hum any song and that's okay. Some of them, yeah. some of them are too small. That's okay. Just give them like, um, like little buttons. Yeah, what do I do? Give them middle button, like belly buttons. <laughs> Elephants yeah. don't have belly buttons, do they? Yeah, they do. They have umbilical All mammals have them. All where's mammals. The, where's That's the, the whole point. Where is the elephant? You have one. You just never they looked. They do. Mine's big and ugly. Where, where do you <laughs> put, um, where do the, uh, where's the elephant belly button? Same spot? Yeah, same spot. Umbilical right about. Around about. Like, they don't have it on their back or anything. No, that all would mammals, be All mammals. All mammals. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Yeah. I sort of already knew that, I think, but I just didn't think about what it before I said What else do you know about? Elephants? Yeah, about I elephants. know that I saw some elephants recently, some African elephants in South Africa. Yeah. And I had, there was this really cool thing, like the um, the males, like the, the old men just wander around like champions. And then, so what it is, like the males in the in the herd, all the, all the ton, the, what's the collective noun? A pachyderm, uh, a pachyderm. A pachyderm. A pack of pachyderms. Um, the, the males, like when they get to like 15 or 16 or whatever, they just get kicked out of the pack. Yeah, I've seen sad documentaries on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And then they just wander around until they find an old man elephant and then he takes them under his ear it's and teaches them the ways of the savannah. <laughs> it's like karate kids. Yeah, yeah, and then when they reach their like their maturity, they go back and they go, and then they get their own pack and they, they cruise around yeah. like champions. But it's awesome. There's these old elephants just cruising around waiting to impart knowledge to the younger ones. It was really cool. I didn't know that. Because they had these two young ones in the um in the in the particular giant park thing that I went to and saw. Do you want to do any of these? No. And um and uh, and they were young and they'd just been like smashing up all the rhinos because yeah. they were like yeah take that rhinos because they just wanted to fight something yeah. and they didn't know how to deal with it so they got an old man elephant and he came in and said don't kill rhinos <laughs> didn't anyone ever teach you not to kill the rhinos <laughs> and then they were all friends ah. it's a happy ending that is a happy ending Put and that you saw all it. of that on the savannah Put, I did what I'm, else did you see on the you were at the savannah oh, the best thing I saw was a chameleon that was about as big as my you, finger. How did you see a chameleon? It was walking across the road. It was a bad chameleon. And it was doing that thing, you know, I don't know, you know they do that thing where they and they take a step and then they do that. I'll do a chameleon walk. So they like go, they've got those little claspy hands. Do yeah. a little claspy hand. You know, they got the no, you know, have like they look like oh, that. Yeah. Like that, my hand pretty yeah. much. And he was just like, you take a step and then go. It's gonna test. Take a one step and then go like that. And it took ages and we just stopped and watched him walk across the road. Was he the same colour as the road? No, he was green. Whoa, what a bad comedian. He was a bad comedian. A bad terrible comedian. comedian. His oh, jokes were terrible. They're the Freudian slip. Two stars, chameleon. That's just at the forefront of my brain at any point. <laughs> bad comedian. What a bad comedian. Oh, look at our biscuits. Well, I nearly finished all of the eyes. Have so. you been having a fun comedy festival? It's a yeah. weird lifestyle. It's a strange lifestyle. Yeah. Up till... Like the other day I had to get 
I hosted something till four in the morning and then had to be on breakfast radio at six. No. <laughs> so, so, so you have naps. You have naps a at lot five nap- in the morning. There's a lot of napping going on, but I, I get I'm, my main panic every day is missing the nap window. Ah, the, what time it's does like, it close for you? Well, I've got to be at the show at seven, so that you get you're working back. <sighs> yeah. So you've got to leave the house at five. So the nap. Yeah. If I haven't. If the nap isn't happening by midday, or yeah, you know, it's tricky. For me, my show's a bit later now, and that window is actually like 7 p.m. now, right. which gives me a bit more time. That is good. But I'm yeah. tired in the mornings because yeah. you finish. Mm. Do you find you can go to bed after a gig? No. Like, too much up. adrenaline. Yeah, yeah, I'm just up. Just woo! Until <laughs> about four in the morning. Fine. How's yeah. your eating habits? Wrong. <laughs> they started, I, I, um, I cooked flat out for the month beforehand and stocked the freezer. Yeah, I did that too. Why didn't it work? Well, it worked, but it's over. Like I ate the whole freezer within about two weeks. And now my house just looks like it's just wigs and dirty dishes and confusion. And I just walk in and I go, oh, like, I'm just either walking in there to go to bed or getting up and leaving. <laughs> yeah, that's all you do. That's all you do. Why is it so, I think I'm up to like six Subway cookies a day. Yeah. It's not healthy. Everything, I haven't been, we were talking about before, we haven't been to the supermarket in a month. No, I went yesterday, it was amazing. Yeah, Overwhelming. Right. Yeah, yeah. Too much choice. Um, yeah, I don't know what happens. Your brain, mate, your brain can just deal with doing a show every night for an hour and nothing else. Oh, and coming to the zoo at 7 a.m. That's all I can do. Right. Welcome to the community I'm having some biscuits and some elephants. I'm having a great time.